by Sublime, people of the friends, relatives of the neighbors. We're doing all of it. We've got the intro, that's right. The chords for the verse, chords for the chorus, the lead guitar for the chorus, and the one and only Santa Korean solo for the song. Guys, my name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. I would like to tell you that we're in standard tuning, no capo. Please sell me your email address. That's not necessary. However, I will say this, if you go to marinmusic.com and type in your email address, you will have immediate free access to my bar chord video course, where I teach you what bar chords are, teach you how to do them, and give you so many trips and ticks for playing them, which will be especially helpful for this song because there are bar chords in this song. People, let's get started with the introduction. Please place your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. And while we're at it, go ahead and put your ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string from the top and your pinky on the ninth fret of the third string from the bottom. Holding your fingers in this position, you're gonna play second string from the top, then you're gonna go to third string from the top, then third string from the bottom, then there's a tiny little pause, and then you play third from the top again, and then second from the top again, and then you're gonna strum the second from the top and the third from the top together. That was a lot of notes. Listen to this, watch my pick. This hand is not moving, but watch my pick over here. We're going. Guys, just to get those guitar playing juices flowing, let's play this first little bit together. We're just going bonky, bonky, bang, boom. One, two, karate chop. Bonky, binky, bang, boom. One more time, gang. Bonky, binky, bong. Boom. Great job. Fantastic. Okay. Keep your fingers in this position. You're going to play the third string from the bottom again. And then immediately on the third string from the top, you're going to pluck down up. So that was gatung gong. Then go back to the second string from the top. Play that one and just slide down a little bit. So now check this out. From the very beginning, we've got bong, ki, bing, ki, bang, bong, ki, bing, ki, bang. One. To play with me. Bonky, binky, bang, strum, and binky, bong. One more time. Whip. Bonky, binky, bang, bong, ga, binky, bang. Let me tell you this. I know that when I say ga, binky, bang, binky, bong, it's annoying. That's, I have two, there are two reasons for it. One reason is because the annoyingness of it, it penetrates your brain, and then you just are thinking of this binky bang, binky bong, and it does actually help you remember the rhythm. But the second reason, and the most important reason, is I am unable to stop talking, and it's very fun for me to say binky bong, binky bang. One, two, one more time. Bonky, binky bang, bong, ga binky bang. Okay, we're halfway through half of the introduction. We have to switch chords. We're switching, that was by the way, just an E5 chord if you're keeping track. Then we go to a G sharp bar chord. Pointer finger, fourth fret, top string. Your pointer finger also needs to mash down on all six strings. Your middle finger is gonna play five of the third string from the bottom. Your ring finger is gonna play six of the second string from the top, and your pinky plays six of the third string from the top. Remember, two more things to say. Remember that bar chord course, marinamusic.com. It will help you with this. I'm serious, not even joking at all. 
Then the other thing I wanted to say is if you just want to learn the solo, there's no bar chords in the solo. You can do it. So you can skip to the solo. It's fine. I'm not going to hold it against you. Guys, on this G sharp, you're going to play the top string. Then there's a little pause. Then you're going to play second string from the bottom. Then there's another little pause. And then quickly, you're going to play third string from the bottom, third string from the top, second string from the top, and then go back back to the third string from the bottom. So that's one, two, three, four, boom, bang, key, bang, bong, bang. Hey, one, two, play with me. Bong, bang, key, bang, bong, bang. Fantastic. If you play the wrong string, but you have pretty much the right rhythm, it's gonna be fine. I don't think this is one of those situations where you have to play every note exactly perfect. Okay. Halfway through the intro, we're going to switch chords again. So after we go bong, binky, bang, bong, bang, then you're going to, okay, well, here's the easy way to do it. Check it out. This is our G sharp chord. We're going to switch to a C sharp minor. The way you switch to C sharp minor is you take every single finger and you move it down a string like that. So now pointer fingers on four still, the second string from the top and mashing down on the bottom five. Middle fingers on five of the second string from the bottom. Pinky and ring finger are on the sixth fret of the middle two strings. C sharp minor. Guys, on this one, you're gonna play second string from the top. Then you're gonna strum second and third string from the top. Then play the third string from the top. And then the third string from the bottom. So that was boom, boom, goom, ga. One, two, here we go. Boom, boom, ga, ba. Great, okay. Now we have to do a little bit of left hand business. Get rid of your pinky. It's crucial that your pointer finger is pushing on the fourth fret of all five of the bottom strings because we're gonna play that third string from the bottom without the pinky, which means we're relying on that pointer finger. If it sounds like this, then either your ring finger is leaning down and muting the string or your pointer finger is not quite pushing down enough on that string. Okay. We play that third string from the bottom, then you're gonna play third string from the top, and then jump down to second string from the bottom. So check this out. We've got bing, bong, ki, bing, ga, boom, bow. This part's maybe the hardest part of the intro. Let's try that together a couple times, nice and slow. One, two, three. Boom, boom, ki, bing, ki, bang, bong. Two, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Dong, boom. My counting off is a little askew. It's a little view askew universe by Kevin Smith. It's the first time I've ever said view askew universe out loud. I did like Clerks. I did not like Mallrats. I did like Dogma. I did not see Chasing Amy. What else we got? Clerks 2 was fine. What's Tusk was weird. Freaked me out. Red State was weird. Freaked me out. Did not see the one about Zack and Miri. Okay, there's more. They're good. I, you know, I'm a fan. I'm Evening Harder with Kevin Smith, not a sponsor. I got a little bit distracted right now. Does anyone know how that happened? Okay, we just went. Fantastic. Put your pinky back on the sixth fret of the third string from the bottom. Play that third string from the bottom. And then you're gonna play down up on the third string from the top. So now we've got boom, boom, boo, ba, ba, do, ba, da, do, do. Fantastic, da, do, do. Almost done with the intro, guys. With your pointer finger, bar the sixth fret of the second from the top and the third from the top. Play it and then slide it up to seven like this. And then, this is, I think, a tough part. Immediately after that, you want to play seven on the top string with your pointer finger. You want to bar it on all six strings. Ring finger plays nine second string from the top. Pinky plays nine third string from the top. Middle finger plays eight third string from the bottom. This is a B bar chord. You're going to go like this. Play the top two strings. Then play the second string from the bottom and third string from the bottom together. But you're going to wait a little bit before you do that. You go boom. Ba. Then immediately you play third string from the top, then third string from the bottom, back to third string from the top, and then the top string. So that was like this. Boom, ba, goom, 
Ga boom, boom. Guys, we have completed the introduction. Let's play it together very slowly. One, two, three, four, and boom. Goo bang, gee boom, boom. Gaping, gee bow, boom. Ga, ga, go, boom, ba, boom. Do it one more time actually slowly because that wasn't that wasn't slow that was medium now we're gonna do it actually slow without me saying donkey ding pinky bang on top of everything one two now i was gonna do the exact same tempo let's see bong ki bang ki bong bong back on ki bong one two here we go and We've done it. Time for the verse. The chords for the verse. This is where the bar chords come in. It goes like this. It goes, I don't wanna bang my damn pokey on. I ain't got no crystal bound. I soon a bone bone Okay. Starts with an E bar chord, my least favorite bar chord shape. Put your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. You want to bar down onto the bottom five strings. But let me tell you this, it's actually not crucial that you bar. As long as you're playing that seventh fret of the second string from the top, you're okay. Then with your ring finger, play nine on the third string from the top and your ring finger is gonna mash down on the next three strings. So top string, we don't care about. It can be muted, it can be open, doesn't matter. Then we have seven on the second string from the top, then with your ring finger, we go nine on the next one, nine on the next one, nine on the next one. Here's where it gets a little bit hairy, a little dicey. The bottom string, you wanna make sure that your ring finger is not pushing on nine of the bottom string. We do not want that note. It's gonna screw everything up. So watch this. Your ring finger, how do I do this? Your ring finger cannot be like this. It needs to be like that. Do you see this knuckle right here? Don't bring that knuckle back like this. Have it jet out a little bit like that. And then so the bottom string is muted. It's not that bad, but it does take some getting used to. E bar chord, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the off beats. Here's what that means. If I'm counting one, two, three, four, we're gonna be playing in between those beats. So it's like one, and two, and three, Four and let's try it. Good luck. A one and two and three and four and what I do to kind of help me keep track of the beat is on the beat. Like when I'm counting, I just do this little karate chop on the strings and then I strum on the offbeat. So I go one and two and three and four and. But there's another thing to get this like ska reggae. Would you call this ska or reggae? It's like in between, right? It's like slow ska or like, um, I don't know, fast reggae, great. So uh, what you're gonna do is don't push down constantly over here. Have your fingers touching all the strings, but only push down as you strum. Watch this, see my fingers? See how they're just touching, but look, watch, watch. Can you see how I'm pushing? Like that, so I'm going one push, one push. You can, uh, you see what I'm doing? Now I'm not lifting my fingers all the way off the strings. I'm I'm keeping them touching the strings at all times. They're going uh, push, uh, push, push. Try it with me. One, two, three, four. Chop, push, chop, push, chop, push, chop, push. Great. We do that four times. Then we switch to the G sharp chord. We did this in the intro, so I'm not gonna go through it again. Okay, I'll go through it one more time, just in case you skipped the intro. Four on the top, then six, then six, then five, and your pointer finger mashes down on four of all six strings. Do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another thing I should mention, 
aim for the bottom three strings during all this. Like you're gonna hit a couple extra strings, but you don't need to hit all six strings. We wanna hit mostly just the bottom ones. In fact, if you've looked up tablature online for this before, it probably only has the notes on the bottom strings written out. So you might be thinking you can get away with just going like, and then going like this. I mean, technically you can do that, but that's not really how the song is played. I don't think there's any good videos of the original guitarist playing this song live, but there are a lot of videos of Rome playing it. And you can see he's doing the full bar chords the whole time. Okay, four strums on the E, four strums on the G sharp. Then we switch to the C sharp minor, which as we discussed in the intros, where you take this chord and just move everything down a string, four strums on that. And then we're going to a B bar chord. That was the last chord we did in the intro. That was seven on the top string and mashing down on all six strings. Then you go nine, nine, and eight, and you do the exact same strumming. Guys, that's the verse. We just played through those four chords Four strums each, we do the whole thing two times. Look at that, that was good. Look, four things, four things, two times. Let's play it together. One, two, a nice and slow, here we go. And rest, uh, uh. One. here we go. Switch again. And the B. Do the whole thing one more time. I'm having so much fun. Oh! The solo is coming up soon, but first we have to learn the chords to the chorus to the song. The strumming for the chorus is exactly the same as the verse. We're just doing those off beats. However, the chords are a little bit different, guys. So we start off, uh, so you know that B chord that we just ended the verse on? We're gonna take that exact shape and move it one, two frets back. So now pointer fingers on five, ring fingers on seven, pinkies on seven, middle fingers on six. This is an A bar chord. You're just gonna do two strums on this one. Then move it one, two frets back over, back to the B chord. Do two strums on that. Then go back to the E. Remember the E bar chord? Just do one strum. Then go back to the B immediately and do one strum. So that part's a little quick. We just go E, B. Great. And then finally, we go back to C sharp minor. You know that one. That's like the third chord from the verse. And we do two strums on this one. Uh, let's go ahead and play that whole sequence twice in a row. So we're going A, B, E, B, C sharp. And then we do the same thing again. One, a two, play with me, here we go. Again. Surprise, do it again. Double surprise, stop right here. Ha! So the chorus, it does it two and a half times. You go A, B, E, B, C sharp. Then you do it again. A, B, E, B, C sharp. Then you do it. You act like you're going to do it again, but you just go A, B, and then immediately you go back to the verse. So that's the chorus. Guys, so we did the intro. We did the verse. We just did the chorus. Then it just goes right back and does the verse again. Then it goes right back and does the chorus again, exactly the same. And then we get to the solo. Let's do that imminently at this time. The hard thing about the solo is just how fast it is. So we're gonna learn it slowly. And I think you're all gonna have a no problems learning the notes. And then just gradually over the next couple weeks, couple months, couple years, couple decades, you can just speed it up, speed it up until you're doing it full speed. Please play the seventh fret on the second string from the top. Then go ahead and use your pointer finger for that. Then bring your pointer finger up to the ninth fret on the second string from the top. Play that, but then immediately hammer on to 11 with your ring finger. So we've got seven, nine, hammer. Then play nine on the third string from the top. Then with your ring finger, play 11 on the third string from the top. Then with your pointer finger, play nine on the third string from the bottom. 
There's the first little lick. We've got boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba. Play it with me, guys. Seven, hammer, da doo, ba. A one more time. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba. Great. Now with your ring finger, play eleven on the third string from the bottom. You're gonna play it, but then you're gonna bend it and then play it again and bend it right back. So we've got boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba. Fantastic job. Notice when I'm bending, my ring finger is on the 11th fret, but my middle finger and pointer finger are behind my ring finger, pushing on the string, just helping bend it. I do that for like every bend. Then with your pointer finger, play nine on the third string from the bottom. Then move back to eight on the third string from the bottom. Give it a little wiggle and then play eight again and slide it back to six. So check this out. We've got boom. Then I'm gonna give you one more note and then we're gonna practice that. With your ring finger, reach back up to eight on the third string from the bottom and play it and bend it and then bend it back. Just like that. All right, here we go. That's the first quarter of the solo. One, a two, and a one, two, three, four. A boom. Fantastic. When I said it was the first quarter of the solo, I made it up. I'm not sure if that's true. Okay, then uh, you're going to move, put your ring finger on six of the third string from the bottom, but have your pointer finger on four of the same string ready to go. Play the third string from the bottom, then play it again, and then pull off with your ring finger to go back to four. So I'm playing the note, playing it again, then I'm just, I'm taking my ring finger off the string, but I try to give the string a little flick as I come off of it. So it's bam, bam, fantastic. Keep your pointer finger in the same spot, but with your ring finger, play six on the third string from the top, and then go immediately back to four on the third string from the bottom. Then this part, this is where you have to act fast. You're gonna put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. You're gonna play it and you're gonna bend it like that. So we've got bam, bam, boom, bam, boom. One, two, play with me. Bam, bam, boom, bam, boom. One more time, karate chop. Bam, bam, boom, bam, boom. Fantastic. Now, play two on the third string from the top. Hammer on to four, and then pull off to two. So it's, I don't know, I got confused. Well, let's just add the next couple notes, and we'll play this whole part. So you, I, I got all mixed up. Okay, I forget how to play the song. Video's over, lesson's over, you can all go home. I'm using my Gryffindor mug today because I have to be brave, I have to be strong, I have to be loyal and courageous for all of the sad little children out there, I'll put it right there so you can see the mug and we will forever be reminded of the watchful, judgmental gaze of the Gryffindor lion. All right, so we just went... Now, shoot! So we just went uh, bendy bend on the fourth fret and then we did a hammer pull off from two to four, back to two. Then immediately play four on the second string from the top. Then you go back to two on the third string from the top and then go right back to four on the second string from the top and give it a little wiggle. I know, that was that was rough. Look, it goes like this. It goes... Not too bad. What? To play with me. Fantastic job. Are you ready for the super fast part? Super fast part, which will wrap up the first half of the solo. Pointer finger, second fret, top string. Then hammer on to three. I use my middle finger. Then hammer on to four. You may use your ring finger if you'd like. I, because I'm a crazy psychopath, I use my pinky. I go. I think it's actually because I started on bass, so I'm used to using my pinky for stuff more than my ring finger. Let's see, wait, let's see. I don't know, they're both this. Ring finger or pinky, I don't care. 
Shut up about it. So we've got two, hammer on to three, hammer on to four. Now I'm using my ring finger, I give up. Immediately after that, you're gonna do the same thing on the second string from the top. Two, hammer on to three, hammer on to four. Fantastic. Then on the third string from the top, you're gonna go four, hammer on to five, hammer on to six. And then on the third string from the bottom, you're gonna play four, but then hammer on directly to six. So check this out, we've got Buckle buckle Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I messed up because I was saying Beetlejuice. Okay, my pick is gone. Everything is fine. It's fine. I'm doing fine today. Can I tell you? Okay, can I tell you what actually just happened in my mind? I said the thing about me being a psychopath, and then I'm not even joking. I said, oh, what if there's a psychopath out there listening and who got their feelings hurt by that? So I don't want to hurt the feelings of any psychopaths, but, well, okay, let me ask you this. If you are a psychopath, like, there's kind of a bad connotation with psychopaths, like a serial killer kind of connotation, but, but you, like, you could be a psychopath and it's just like something you struggle with, right? I feel like this is, I feel like I'm, this is bigger than my britches, too big for my britches. What's the phrase? Now I'm just trying to decide if I'm gonna cut this whole part out of the video. I feel like it got a little intense. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it in, but we're never gonna speak of it ever again. Let's play the whole first half of the solo. One, uh, two, I forget the first part. How did the, wait, 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 boom, boom. That was my impression of you. You did a great job. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So you do the hammer on from four to six on the third string from the bottom, and then you go to five on the second string from the bottom, and you just play it twice. You go down, up, fantastic, amazing job. Second half of the solo. Go to 12 on the second string from the bottom, play it and bend it, and you hang out on that note for a second. Then you play nine on the bottom string, then you play 12 on the second string from the bottom, then nine on the second string from the bottom, then 11 on the third string from the bottom, you're gonna play it and bend it and bend it right back. And then play nine on the third string from the bottom. So that was. Huh. Uh. Oh. Fantastic. Then play 11 on the third string from the top, back to nine on the third string from the bottom. Go back to 11 on the third string from the top, but right after you play it, you're gonna pull off from 11 to nine. So your pointer finger has to get ready on the ninth fret for that little pull off. Then play 11 on the second string from the top. Then play nine on the second string from the top and hammer on to 11. There's a lot of notes. This is a very notey part of the song. We go. We're doing fine. Then you go to nine on the third string from the top. And then you play 11 on the second string from the top. Let's play all of that. One, two, three, four. Fantastic job. Then you play nine on the second string from the top slowly. And then you go back to 11 on the second string from the top. And then you're gonna play eight, no, shoot, wait, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Everything was good until that very last note. So you just played 11 on the second string from the top, then play 10 on the third string from the top. Then go back to 11 on the second string from the top, back to 10 on the third string from the top. Guys, let's play that whole little part starting from the bendy 12. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. We're in the final showdown now between us and Santeria. You're gonna you're gonna play 11 on the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom. Now it's up to you. You can use your middle two fingers 
or you can use your ring finger and just mash down. Either way works. We're gonna play the second string and third string from the bottom on 11 and then give it a little bend. You go, it's kind of a sloppy bend. It doesn't need to be precise. It's nice and slow. Then with your pointer finger, mash down on nine of the bottom three strings and just play bottom, second from the bottom, third from the bottom. So that was bend nine, nine, nine. Then you do that exact same thing again. Bend nine, nine, nine. Then go back to the 11, play it and bend it, but then bend it back. So check this out. We went And then the big finish, guys, play 11 on the third string from the bottom, but before you play it, bend it. So you, it's already bent, you play it, and then bend it back, and then play nine, and then back to 11, and then back to nine. So that was. All right, guys, I think we're ready to play the whole solo very slowly. I forgot my mug was there and it truly, honestly startled me. Like a cat when you put a, what a, a cucumber by it? What do people do? A pickle? Zucchini. One, two, that's too fast. A bounce. Bukunka bunka one, two, Santa Claus. Oh. Great. And. Can we just pretend that was close enough? Like, if I tried harder, it'd be better. And I know you're trying to learn it. You're taking your guitar playing very seriously. But the thing is, um, I, I don't know. I have no excuse. The dog ate my bone work. I don't know why I said that. How are you guys liking the Santeria solo so far? Here we go, the lead part for the chorus. We're not, I don't think this is note for note how he plays it, but you know, when they do it live, they don't play this part anyway, and it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Push down on five of the bottom two strings with your pointer finger, put your middle finger on six of the third string from the bottom, and you're gonna go, ba dun dun. I'm just playing bottom, second from the bottom, third from the bottom. Ba dun dun. Then slide your middle finger up to eight, and along with it, your pointer finger goes up to seven, and you go, ba ba ba. So we just went five, five, six, slide seven, seven, eight. Then on the third string from the top, play nine. And immediately after that, play nine on the second string from the bottom. That's the important part that we just did there. Let's play it together. One, two, three, and five, five, six, slide seven, seven, eight, nine, nine. Fantastic. Then you're gonna play nine on the third string from the bottom and slide to eight. Then play six on the second string from the top. Then go back to eight on the second, third string from the bottom, slide to six. Then we're gonna go to the C sharp minor chord that we already did, and you're just gonna play the middle four strings. Let's play that together, and I don't wanna explain it anymore. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Uh. starts over fantastic okay so i don't know when i play the song i just don't even play that part i just do the, ver the intro verse chorus verse chorus solo then you do chorus again then you do the verse again then you do the chorus again and then we get to the outro the ending i know i said there was only one part to learn now i'm throwing this other part at you but it's fine it's gonna be fine you do the e chord you just strum it and then you slide that over one fret and you strum it again, but try not to play the third, second string from the bottom. And then you slide that over to the fourth fret. So it's four, six, six, six. Then you slide that over to the second fret. So it's two, four, four, four. Then you go to the 
A bar chord, and then you go to the B bar chord, and then you're gonna play top string open, seven on the second string from the top, six on the third from the top, seven on the third from the bottom, second string from the bottom open, and you play this E7 chord. Guys, that outro goes like this. It goes bang, 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 bang. That's how you play Santa Claus by Santeria featuring Sublime with Rome. My name is Ben Stewart. It has been an honor and a privilege. This video is too long. I hope you all have lots of annoying, tedious work to do today, and I wish you the best in this trying time of hope and gratitude. Thank you.